What's up YouTube? It's Darren. Today I'm going to be showing you how to transform this into this. So you're going to need a couple things. First off, your rival Nerf gun. Second off, to take it apart, you're going to need some precision screwdriver sets specifically. You're going to want a size 0, star, or Phillips screwdriver. And then next you're going to need some sandpaper and some spray paint. Let's get to it. I forgot to mention what will help you in this whole process is you're going to need a couple little dishes or trays to put little screws and whatnot, so just so you don't lose them. But anyways, without further ado, let's take this thing apart. Then also you're going to need a, a zero star tipped miniature screwdriver. Let's get to it. So before you take apart the assembly of the handle, I like to just take off this outer shell first, spread it. Should come apart. Miss anything? Well, that's why that one was hanging on just a little bit. Is it hanging on? These things are put together so, there we go, just like that. And then what you want to do is sort of get all these screws out because we're going to be painting it, try not to lose any on this glass table, probably not recommended. So what do we got here? We got five screws. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, there's some still in here. Come on. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we're not missing any, I don't believe. There it is, nine. So this is the main part of the shell taken off. Take off the rail next. Your catch, I believe that's what that's called. And you just basically just start disassembling everything you possibly can, even take off this back part. There's a wire in there. I'll show you how to put this all back together, but we got our two parts of the shell and then what we do is we go on to take apart the handle. So to fully take apart the handle you're gonna have to take it there's two screws in there uh, that one and that one and then one two three four five six screws I 
what we can do is sort of spread this, take off the barrel. You gotta be careful here because I've un taken apart all the screws, but how to take off this top piece is you unhook the spring, you spread the fork, these, these orange forks, just sort of spread them off their posts, that'll come right off. So we've got it apart. This is what you should be looking at here. It's something to note too that for the, the handle assembly and for these internal pieces, they come in with these the, the smaller screw. Whereas this top frame, the subframe has the smaller screw and the main frame has the, the larger ones. That's how you, there's only two sizes. So it's 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 you can mix them up, it's easy. The smallest ones go to the handle. Larger ones go to the actual larger frame. Cool. Now, so now we're going to want to get everything ready that we want to have painted. I'm not going to paint the handle. I'm not going to paint the slide or the any of the black pieces, really. I just mainly want to paint all the white pieces. And I think I'm going to paint the trigger, the barrel, this little jam door, we're gonna paint all those. So what's important here is, so this is your safety piece. It's first you take out the trigger and the spring. Oh, right. So we got the trigger, pull out the safety, throw that in our little thing. So we'll put the trigger aside. We'll put this little door aside. Now there's a little spring here for the mag release for the button. You don't want to lose that spring. So the smaller spring goes into the back of the handle and the larger spring is for the trigger. So now this is where it gets a little tricky. So you want to get a small flat screwdriver And you'll notice there's these little, bring it in here, there's these little tabs holding this, this black piece onto the white piece. So we'll just use a screwdriver to sort of aid, oh that came out actually pretty easy. Let's see if I can do the same with this one. Looks like it's going to go, maybe a little bit of... Oh, it's actually pretty hard. I don't want to break it. Maybe this way, maybe this direction I can get it. My little screwdriver better in. There we go. So the black piece comes off. Be a lot easier to paint these parts here. Because <laughs> we don't want to paint the these black shoulder pieces because they look cool and we're going to keep them like that. So we'll do the same for the other side. That comes off really easy. Oh, that one came off real good. So those two are ready for paint. We'll move them aside. Same with the barrel and same with our trigger and our little button to uh, door jam. So all these pieces are going to be painted. And then you're going to have the same sort of problem with this bottom white piece here. So it's got a tab <coughs> up here on this white part. It's just this little black piece that needs to... There we go. So there's a black tab holding it back. So you just want to sort of push, again, I've, I've sort of chewed it up, but that's okay, it's hidden inside the gun, so that'll be fine. Oops, that one broke right off, oh no. It's okay, there's still screws holding it together, so if you break off those tabs, it's not a big deal. Then you want to sort of do the same with the safeties. 
Get your little screwdriver in there. It'd sort of be sort of hard, but so I want to fold them in so you can get them off. It can be a little bit of a pain, but don't worry. There we go. It's out. We got it out. Perfect. We're going to be painting those as well. This one off here. Oh, this one might be. There we go. Safety is off. So here's all the pieces we're going to be painting. Don't use a glass table, it is something slippery. I keep having parts roll off and everything. So it's Probably advise that you don't do that. And this piece is where we're going to be, the plunger tube, where we're going to be putting the spring in. So before we carry on with paint, I'll show you how to sort of get that spring in. Okay guys, so I noticed here we have the, this piece basically unjams it by just sort of sliding the plunger back I guess. We're going to be painting that as well, so let's take that off and get this spring out of the way. Maybe it'll be easier with the plunger tube. So it's easy. You just, with your fingers, you can unclip it and it comes apart really easy. Now this part. Oh, okay, so it just slides right on out and for the last bit, you just a good view here. So when it slot slid in, it's got this like sort of keyway. You slide it through the keyway, turn it 90, and it comes right out just like that. Remove the old spring because we're not going to need that. Open up our new one. Now I'm not quite sure what good. these rubber pieces are because really the only place they fit is on the end of this which really doesn't do too much so I'm just gonna leave it the black ones because I've played around tried switching them and I've had guns jam and everything like that so we're gonna for this one we're gonna leave it out and just put the more powerful spring in so just might need to thread it on a bit there we go You want to make sure it's absolutely seated on. Being sort of hard. There we go. Clipped on. Good to go. So to put it back in. Oh, actually, we're not going to. We're going to take this out and paint it. So we'll leave these apart. Take apart that spring and. and Notice the difference in the spring. So this one is actually a finer spring. So we'll just have to remember that and put it with the other springs and hopefully we don't get messed up. But I think we are ready for paint. Yeah, okay, we're gonna paint. So before we sort of paint, I have my little paint booth set up here with the GoPro far enough away. I'm gonna sand everything, sand the polish off with just 320 grit sandpaper, very fine. So that way we don't have any grooves and it looks fairly decent. But we'll go to time lapse. So I've finished sanding with the 320 grit sandpaper. Some things I've done is there's a little screw on the back of this. Uh, jam door so what I did is just one screw very easy nothing flew apart I just took it off to make it a bit easier on painting and then for parts that are gonna be internal and stuff like the like the trigger what I've done is I've just taken painters tape and painted off the moving parts that'll be painted so that way I can paint the trigger and not have any of the internal parts jamming or sticking or anything so First coat of paint 
is gonna be primer. I've just got this stuff at your regular home hardware, or Walmart, whatever. You just want flat black primer. Why I'm picking black instead of white is because when you're playing with these things and they sort of get chipped, personally, I think when the black comes through, it, it just adds more appeal. But if you're painting in bright colors, I maybe recommend going with a, a white primer, but we went with a black primer. You can use white or black, doesn't matter. Okay, here we go, first coat. So for coat number two, I'm gonna sort of get things in a way I can paint from different angles so that way I'm getting the full coverage of the parts Another coat of primer. Now you don't really need to worry about the back of these so much, just because that black arm or chin rest goes on there and that'll be covering everything, so. Okay. Perfect. I'll show you guys the next coat. Okay, now I've uh, taken away the parts. I'm going to spray a different color, but I'm going to uh, do this one in a metallic silver. And now that we're done with the silver, remove these pieces. Now I'm gonna go to gold. So the old gold I didn't like, so we're switching it to this Krylon instead. I uh, think this gold is better. So now it's all dry. And so what I did is flat primer, black, and then I went silver or this uh, metallic aluminum Rust-Oleum paint. 
And to get the gold, I used this uh, metallic Krylon. It ended up turning really good. So now what we're gonna do, or I'm gonna do, is also have gloss black fusion paint. I'm gonna try and give it like a brushed type look, or uh, should look worn. That's what I'm hoping for anyways. And how I'm gonna do that is just with an old rag. That's what I'm trying to do now. I'm gonna sort of attach them, how they'll look on the gun. Gloves. Oh, That gives it that type of used look. Yeah, it's gonna turn good. Put that aside. Okay. Done. Just like that, eh? And then maybe what I'll do is I'll put them together, see how it Get that top. So it's all sort of evened out, yeah. Looks good. Okay, so I will continue with that. With all these pieces. Oh, the barrel. Beautiful.
think that's pretty much it. You can sort of see if. Ooh, that looks cool. Getting it. Okay, time to put this thing together. So, first off, we are going to start by putting the internals back together. There it is. If you don't recall, we, we took this piece off. And that was with the thinner spring. Let's put that in there. Just like that. Good. And this goes in sideways. tab underneath to slide it in and actually yeah so before I put that in actually what I've got is I've got fluid film it says it works good with plastic and it's food grade safe this stuff's awesome That should be good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Put that in. Set that in. And then. Boom, it's ready. There, now we have the upgraded spring in there. It is ready to go on this. This piece just sits on there like that and cradles that part. Okay, next we took apart this little door. Let's go back together. Must go like that. Oh, okay. And this was one of the smaller screws. There's my screwdriver. There it is. There we go. Jam door's done. Safety. Okay, so this one with the, the 45 or the 90 degree angled teeth, that one goes onto this pummel here. Clips in. Perfect. This one goes onto this side. Very good. And we have these pieces too. So that clips on there like that. There we go. Oh, there was a screw in there. Where did that go? Uh oh. There 
heard it. Or maybe it was just that. No, it would make sense that there'd be a screw in that. Oh, we'll find it. If not, I got extra screws. So like I recommended before, you you shouldn't do what I'm doing and do this on a glass table because that's just not smart. <coughs> and then you see this little tab here, that's, that goes in there like that for the safety. Just like that. That's how your safety works on this Nerf Helios Rival. And then the little spring. Put the button. So it all pretty much lines up. You have these little tabs that fit into these holes. Spring goes on here. It goes back into there. There we go. That looks right, doesn't it? No, nope, it's got to go like that. And the old trigger. Spring. We want to jam that in there so that it doesn't pop out. I'm worried about this. How that's going to go. You know what? I won't worry about it. We will put this thing together. Yeah. Should be good. Try to snap that on. Oh, see that spring's trying to come out. Well, this is going to take some finesse here. So, push that in a bit. There we go. Perfect. Now all the small screws go into the handle. So what we're going to do is start with this back side here. Because we've got to still fit the barrel and everything in there. So we'll just, that's a long one. Hmm. 
Trigger doesn't want to move very much on this. I hope I didn't screw it up. Supposed to go in a lot further. Maybe we'll take a closer look here. What is that catching on? to lose any pieces. I'm guessing this has to be in further. This piece. Hmm. Well, it's obviously supposed to do that. So, where were we? We'll continue on. See when it's back together. Good too. Oh no. Oh geez. That's all you gotta say. Oh well. Yeah, you can't get frustrated with this thing. Or else we are going to screw it up. Ideal. So that's the trickiest part right here. Is this a catch mechanism for the magazine? Let's try. Push that down. Slide that in. Good to go. Off to the races again. Beautiful. So it's that back piece and this. Now it works. With this piece in, it works. I see, pushes that back. Okay, we're good. It's 
sorry about that. My camera fell. I accidentally tapped it. Okay, now with that piece in, we can now yep, put that piece. But before we do that, we will grab each side shell. to get these ready to go too. Clipped. Clipped. Oh. Oh. That's gotta go in. That was one. There we go. Now it's in. Oh yeah. Whew. This gun is gonna look pretty it's gonna look good it's gonna look good now we can actually attach this too so first thing you sort of want to do is get these forks back into their respective spot no, you gotta just be patient with this stuff because it can be quite rude. Flip it upside down. We're going to pull this spring back and put it onto its little arm again. Just like that. Spring backs on, back on, forks are good. Now we will grab this casing, lay it down, sort of get ourselves situated here. It's all sort of fitting good, looks good. Good. So what you want here is it as close to the front as possible and as far back as possible on this black arm. So let's, maybe, can we get it a bit closer? Not really, that doesn't look good. Yeah, that's as close as it's going to get. That's as far back as that's going to get. That lines up perfectly back there. And this big arm. So what you want to do is fish this in through the bottom. Fish it in. And it hooks into the trigger right here. Just like that. And this is the catch. So you want this facing up. See the, and what the trigger does is it pulls this little arm back, which makes this little thing kick up. Pushes up on this piece, which releases your spring. Very easy. So just pop that in that hole and this one goes there's two as you can see there's two 
parts here where you can easily fit that in. It fits like a glove. Now the barrel. So we just gotta spread this apart, sort of get it in. Spread more, shouldn't. Should just pop in. Oh, geez, I'm losing everything. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay, let's take this out. Focus on just the bottom here. There we go. So bottom there. This is all clicked in. Good, good. Seat that bag in. Perfect. Fish that back in. Be patient with all this sort of stuff because it is very finicky. Now we will put in the rest of these little screws into the handle before we get too carried away. Oh, and don't forget. Put these ones too. You got two up here. They need to be done. Oh, geez. Maybe we should have done this a little bit sooner in the stages, but I only remembered till now. Okay, we got that one. And that one's showing right there too, so we can probably get that one in. Then we'll know if we're missing any screws too. Knowing we got these two. Oh, geez. Okay, we're gonna have to take this out. Where'd the little screw go? Oh, there it is. Yeah, in for hindsight, I should have done this a lot sooner, but we got it now. Nothing to fear, you get to watch me do this all over again. But, Should look really good when we're done. Looking good, looking good. are missing one screw little screw we will find that when we clean up and this is why you don't do it on a glass table 
cheese. Okay, well, anyways. We can always put that in after. So next step is we're gonna put in this rail. Sort of stick this jam door in here too. There we go. Oh, look at this thing. Look at that. What I sort of do is go back to front. And then what I do is I will go left a little bit to you hit here click there. And then it usually screws right in nicely. Now would you look at that? This thing is about done. This is how you paint a gun. Oh, found the missing screw. It is complete. Jam door, jam door works. Trigger works. That works. Pop this in. Oh. And then for a final touch, what I'm gonna do is because with the the more powerful spring, what tends to happen is you know, tends to happen is when you're 
pulling this back, you can feel it in it how, how much harder this is. It'll slip off your shoulder as you're pulling it back. So what I'm going to do is use this hydro dip or hydro hydro turf. as like a, a grip for the back so it's not slipping off your shoulders when you're trying to play or screw around with the gun. Cut a little piece here for the bottom. Oh, yes. Now it is complete. That is how you upgrade and paint your Nerf Helios. Now let's go test it out.